Okay. Woo! What is up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bra? What up? One last time for the finale. Yeah. This is The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 12, The Hope Devourer. That sounds dark. Mm -hmm. But I know we'll get out the other side of it and everything will be just fine, hopefully. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta go through the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna stop right there because... If you know, you know. If you know, you know. It was about to get gross. So, you guys, if you've been enjoying what you're watching, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video and if you want to watch the entire episode along with us without any cuts or interruptions and the whole of season one and now season two if you like you can do that on our patreon patreon.com slash jabby or by becoming a member on this channel all right you guys we're so excited to see what happens so let's get into it it sounds nice no is it a flashback anytime i hear something nice i'm like Flashback. Scanlan Shorthalt, who slayed the dreaded dragon Umbrasil, and freed oh. the city of Westron from its tyranny. The rest of Vox Machina also contributed in minor yet unspecific ways. <laughs> it's almost time for bed. Uh, what does your mother say? Well, all right. Maybe one more story. Yay! Then off to bed, oh. the oh, that's old Scanlan. You're about to hear how I single-handedly led Vox Machina through the ancient mines of Craghammer. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Wake up? I... Uh, Scanlan, come on, man. <laughs> Open your eyes. Come on, short horse, please. Oh. You have to wake up. <sighs> Fuck it. Ah! What in the hell? I was having the best dream! Well, welcome back to your worst nightmare. Uh, uh, huh? oh. You're in the innards of a freaking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> they just had to show that one last time. Right. Especially after you were like, I've watched a lot of fantasy, I've seen a lot of dragons, but I've never seen a butthole of a dragon. I've never seen the backside of a dragon. Yep, now you've seen it twice. Twice. <laughs> Listen, if you live long enough, you should be so lucky <laughs> to see the backside of a dragon. We need a skyship to catch them. Well, maybe we don't. You have a broom. Ready, Kiki? Let's fly. Okay, yeah, she can fly. You have a broom. Whoa. What else you got? Ooh, he's got trees. That's what he's got. Oh, shit. Woo! <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh dang. Think, think. Don't think. That's not what you do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Works. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Ouch. Oh, why does it always have to be fucking acid? <laughs> Ooh! Scanlan's hand. Ooh. Yep, got it. He's still okay after having nice a whole fisting burst. back there. Nice fisting back there. <laughs> oh no. I wake up, Scanlan. Matron, I need you. Your champion needs you. Oh. Call in favors. What kind of leveling up is this? Yeah. I'm in your hands. And I am no longer afraid. All right. Whoa. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Like an angel of death. I'm sorry. He is sexy. And the other vestiges. Are on their way to us. The fools are bringing them here willingly. But how will you defeat them? We should flee. You're injured. Am I? Hmm. If only we had eyes on the inside. I'll go. I'm fast as hell in this armor. Vax, wait. Remember, the safe word is Jenga. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, you've come to deliver a vestige. How generous. Actually, I was just leaving. Not fast enough. Oh, jeez, no. Oh no. Passing! I feel like Keyleth hasn't done much in a little. All right. Oh, brother. It's gonna be close! Okay. Phew! Where are they? If the matron has shown me anything, it's that fate is real. Screw your matron! She doesn't control my destiny! No, Scanlan. You do. Yeah. Mm. And you can run from it. But you can rise to meet it. Mmm. What do you care for all the wrong you've done in your life? You'd have to do a hell of a lot, right? Facts. I... Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Someone grab Myth Carver. No! Shall we? Uh. Look at you. Hardly a snack. She's full snack. Oh, what did you chew on me? Bucket! <laughs> uh oh, oh, unfair. Come on, Scan. You gotta know him up for the team. Yeah, for Kaylee, for your imaginary grandkids. <laughs> Come on, your friends are out there. From all I've heard, it figures you'd run. That was a mistake. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is he just gonna? Oh no! Don't don't break his arms. Uh, we can't beat him. This mountain will be your doom. I owe you my thanks. For you have given me three vestiges. Take them all. Two. <laughs> this one's mine. Scanlan in the eyeball. Yes. Ah. Hold tight. Hold tight. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Well. 
Everyone's surprised. Wait, we're Scanlan. Yeah, where is he? Uh oh. No. Yeah. All right, Goglet. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh God. Oh no. Mike, can't you? Scanlan. No, no, no. No. Your daughter would have been proud. And I'm in love with you too, Scanlan. <laughs> Wait! You're all alive, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Aww. Oh, don't you do that again. Oh. Ow. Uh, what's that glow? Gold. <laughs> what? Okay, that looks important. No. Oh, fine. The hell? You got the vestige, now you get the magic key? I killed the dragon, she didn't is I? I get all the <laughs> magic keys. <laughs> I thought she was going to take yeah. him away for a second. I thought you'd run back there. I almost did. Even if I don't believe in that matron stuff. You do. And I believe in you. Aww. Destiny's a bit of an asshole, really. Mm. But some of us, a lucky few, can seize control of destiny. So to honor their sacrifice, dedication, and goddamn stubbornness, I raise a glass. To Vox Machina. Cheers. 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 The three toughest dragons. Thordak alone couldn't even be contained by an entire dimension. Even the Cinder King has his weaknesses. You know of this dragon, Keeper Yenon? I do. Mm. Hear my words. Think before you act. Understand that not all is as it seems. She's taking Yenin's form. She's a dragon. Oh! No! No! no. Oh, no. More than a mere dragon, I think. A member of the Chroma Conclave. What? What have you done to them? I had to get your attention. And a private conversation is so hard to come by these days. <laughs> oh. To stop Thordak, you'll need more than those vestiges. You'll need help. Then why should we listen to you? You can't even sense me, darling. I could- Yeah, that's right. Thordak is becoming irrational, insane. He is intent on stripping Teldori of its gold, but not to satisfy his greed. Umbrasil has been felled by the vestige bearers, my king. It won't be long before they come for us. That will soon inherit this world and bring glory to the Chromatone oh. Plane. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Dragon babies? Yeah. Ooh. No. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What a great place to end. Oh, totally. Wow. Yeah. Except now I'm like, wait, how long do we have to wait right. to, to see this all play out? I don't want to wait. I uh, know, me neither. This was such a good season. It was so, so good. Like, they really leveled up in the best way possible. Right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Such a good finale. Like, I love the fact that Scanlan was the one that was able to get, yeah. get the dry. Because he was able to originally get the Sphinx or... Oh, yeah. Because he got the Sphinx on by, side. By, like, emotional. Yeah, the emotional damage. Yeah. And then he was able to, like, physically kill the dragon. Yeah. Which is, like, amazing. Yeah, he's come a really, really long way from being that guy who, like, we all love, but really he's just, you know, the jokester with all of the jokes and sex jokes and whatnot. And, I mean, he is useful with, with his powers sometimes, but it seemed like, you know, the dragons were really formidable. How the hell was he going to help in any way? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he stepped up to his destiny. I love that whole bit about, you know, yeah, we all have 
destiny, but we can choose whether we meet it or we run right. away. Right, that was such a good line. Yeah, and that was his whole journey. It's like to stop running away, to step into the greatness that is available there for him, and he delivered, which was yes. so cool. Yeah, I liked his team up with Vax because I haven't really seen them two connect that yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was cool that they were like able to connect on that like bro to bro level. Yeah, and just like trust each other, and then they were both going through so. And I love that in the last episode, he's like, I just found out I'm like the matron of death's champion. champion. Yeah. And he's like, I'm a dad. He's like, you win. <laughs> and it's like they have this like bond of having this new formed responsibility that yeah. they both can't really comprehend, but their only choice is to meet it. It's been so, so good. And uh, what I really enjoyed about this episode as well is that it was really cool because they were up against some enemies that seemed, well, an enemy that seemed for formidable right and there definitely were moments where we were like how are they even going to get out of this like it's really scary and then in the end it's like yay you know they win our heroes prevail but then at the very last second that twist with the the dragon lady i didn't even see that coming that was such a good twist and so now they're like okay can can they trust her Right. She is a dragon after all, but then also she didn't kill them. So it's yeah. kind of like, what are you going to choose? Maybe you have to side up with someone who you don't really like and that you don't really trust in order to take down the enemy that is the bigger problem. Yeah, I feel like it only makes sense that you would need some dragons at least a dragon to take on a conclave concave yeah. of dragons like a group of dragons so i like that and I, I maybe it will hint at like not all dragons are bad right yeah like, just how <laughs> they don't want to be like all like the herd and all like yeah. the elves and yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it may be who knows but such a good place to end because it's so satisfying that they took on one dragon which was so eloquently named or called the bucket <laughs> and then they have three more and then they like in started a new greater plot and yeah like, what like okay like can we get the season three then yeah yeah because you know now it, i think she she was saying they're gonna need the help of like some other people so like who who does she have access to that's gonna be able to help them out like a whole a whole new army a whole new set of beings of entities out out there more opportunities to level up and also ending on that shot of all of the uh, dragon eggs it's just like <gasps> ugh. creepy yeah yeah if, so creepy. if they were having a hard time killing one what's it gonna be like to kill a whole bunch although to be fair they probably just have hatched so maybe they wouldn't be as strong but still i'm sure they're pretty badass and what will happen with that character that was teamed up with umbilical oh really like, yeah right, she ran away Ridley, whatever her name is and yeah they wouldn't they didn't need to introduce her that dragon could have done like convinced himself to kind of depart from the group and have his own interests in mind yeah so she's clearly going to play a bigger role it's oh like, what for is sure it? yeah, yeah cause she they introduced her they teased her a little bit in this season but she didn't really do much apart from whisper things to that other dragon yeah and so as we know they don't just do things no. randomly in this show they don't just like make mentions of something and then not pay it off later so i guess in season three that'll be when she comes in with a vengeance yes such a great finale oh i loved this season so much yeah my gosh God. this has been so much fun you guys and i like genuinely have really enjoyed watching this with you yeah. and with you guys all of you in the comments who've been commenting you've all been absolutely wonderful you're such an amazing community of people i just wanted to let you know that and we appreciate you so so much so thank you very much for going on this journey with us yeah. educating us when we needed it and for just being so totally rad so yes. i hope you'll stick around and we'll definitely be watching more stuff when it comes out season three or any other stuff from critical role mm -hmm. that they end up making so yeah look forward to it um please subscribe join the family and uh, click the bell icon all notifications if you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one i'm achara kirk this is steps abroad ciao